I got an email from a club car user asking about uh, the advanced timing keys and uh, although I responded to the email, uh, just a, a quick lesson here on how we do it in our shop as far as documenting what the timing is. It's easy to say that you need a five degrees of advance, but what does that really uh, equate to in horsepower and obviously different cylinder head and cam combinations, compression ratios, all these things respond differently. So what we do is when we find something that's working is we document it, but we need to know exactly what's going on. So we made a fixture for establishing top dead center. We've got a small bracket that we made that's adjustable that uh, when the engine's being assembled and we find top dead center, we adjust it to represent that. And then we use just a standard comp degree wheel uh, bolted to an adapter so we can uh, get some numbers. So here's how we do it. We've got an automotive timing light attached here and we'll just run this thing. Now this is, uh, that one's set at 30 degrees, that's kind of where we start on the dyno. This particular engine's one of the 325cc big bore 290s with a, a little bit of lumpy cam in it, so it, and no counterbalance, so it's, uh, it's not too happy just bolted to a simple bench like this. But um, after we get a good tune-up you know, on, on the dyno, this thing will be a lot uh, more pleasant and uh, ship it off to somebody to enjoy. So anyways, that's how we do timing on the uh, club car engine. Take care.